Um, I've been buying a lot of red clothes. Uh, I will tell you that rice is blue uh, as a color, and uh, the athletic director at Houston used to always wear a red blazer, and we used to always kind of make fun of him because Houston was our rival. And it looked like he worked for Remax or something, you know. And I'm actually looking for a red blazer now. So red ties, red shirts, all that stuff. But it, seriously, I've just been really talking to people on campus and in the community about supporting the Coyotes, and it's been it's been awesome. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, I think we have to. I mean, we're, we're tracking things on more of a statewide level in terms of Howling Pack members, season ticket holders in all different counties. And so Yankton is a real important one for us with the population base and the number of alums and the great coverage that you guys give us as well. So it's, it's important for us. Yeah, made things easy. you know, my first win against Minnesota as an AD, this is easy, right? I mean, what else is there? But no, it, it helped us, has helped create some interest. And we're just looking at ways to build on that and, and improve our facilities and our programs and make sure that we're doing the right things because we are capable of competing with teams like that. And we proved that and we're going to continue to prove that. I mean, just beating North Dakota and kind of getting over the hump with them at, versus the last few years has been, it was a big win for us. And if we can beat some other teams on our schedule, it's going to be real important for us. I loved it. We were at the parade with my boys and my wife, and uh, it was going so long. I had to. I told them, honey, I gotta go. We gotta go over and watch to make sure everything's going okay at the dome. And uh, so we left the parade and got over. Tailgating was great. If anything, I want to move the start time back a little bit because I felt like it was a little too compressed with everything, and people didn't have enough time to enjoy tailgating. So we're gonna try to address that for next year. But it was great. D days was awesome. You know, I, I talked to Commissioner Dupel this morning, and, and I'm very committed to the Summit League in terms of what they're trying to do with, with merging with the Valley in some semblance of a conference that has two divisions or whatever it might be. And I just think, you know, the, the Summit has moved up their site visit to North Dakota a couple weeks in November. They're, they're going to do it a little bit earlier than originally planned. And I think some of that is, that was announced yesterday, I think some of that is to help get North Dakota into the league so that we can actually start having more serious discussions. Because right now, we still don't have that third team that we need to, to, to approach the Valley. And hopefully North Dakota will be that team and Southern Utah will stay and, and that'll be the group that we go forward with. But uh, time will tell. I mean, Brian Faison is a great athletic director, and we had breakfast on Saturday here in Yankton and uh, before the game, and we talked about staying together and staying committed with each other. And, you know, it's kind of like you have an argument at work, and you're trying to talk to the two employees, and one of them tells you a story, and half of it's true, and someone else tells you their side, and the other half, and you, there's a truth in the middle somewhere. And that's what I'm really trying to get to with all these different commissioners and athletic directors, because no one's really telling the truth totally. There's a lot of different agendas, and so I'm just trying to navigate through that. But I think Brian at North Dakota is in a similar position as we are, that you know we're going to share some information and we can help each other. So. And Justin and I, up the AD up there, we've had some really good conversations about it, and I think he's open to the concept. Uh, you know, 11 and 12 are pretty much out as a scheduling, but we're, we're focused in on trying to get something done in the future, probably a four-year kind of two and two, home and home, something like that is what we're talking about. So it, it's going to happen. It needs to happen as far as I'm concerned for the state and for the region, and uh, it just makes too much sense not to. So I, I hope we can get that done. Yeah, it's something that I'm excited that Jim, uh, the president, is willing to at least consider. Uh, in the past, I think he had gone a little bit back and forth about new arena or just renovating the dome to some capacity, and I think he's on board with the potential for a new arena. Uh, we're just taking the very preliminary step to get the approval from the board to set up a committee to look at it officially. And so that, that hopefully will pass here in October and we can start actually having more serious discussions. But right now it's, it's in its infant stage, I would say. But it's something that I'm definitely committed to try to do.